This video is on Chris Stegeman. The reason this video is on Chris Stegeman is because, uh, along with the skills that I learned in Duke's Rune and Jitsu, Chris Stegeman, his favorite pastime is thinking of ways to torture people. Ways to find and locate people. Ways to hurt people. Me and him used to drive out to Chapel Lake and we'd smoke some weed. And, uh... Well, we'd talk about how to torture people. For him... He said, uh... Well, I asked him who it is that he thinks about torturing when he thinks about it. He said, well, I think about torturing you. I said, why is that? He said, because you're here. He said, who do you think about torturing? I said, me. He said, why? I said, well... Because uh, it hurts me to think about hurting other people. We are very different people, Chris Stegeman and I. Every time I see him in Chapel, Nebraska, he uh, asks me about marijuana. Do I have any weed to smoke with him? No, Chris. I don't bring marijuana across the state border. I could find every single officer who harmed me, even the ones whose names I don't know. But I would have to hurt people to do so. I know exactly who to go abduct and where to find them in order to get information that would help me to find Alicia Bollinger and Ted Bollinger and Danica Garner and Shelley Campbell. I could find every one of these people. I could kill every one of these people. I know how. It's not complicated. The human body is fragile. What these people did to Natalie and what they did to me, well, they should pay for it. But killing them does not serve the purpose. It does not set the example. Do I believe these people should die? Yes! I believe everybody should die. Nobody should live for fucking ever. Do I believe that these people should be tortured? No. But I know exactly who to locate to do those things. I know exactly who to hurt in order to get at uh, Jai Rogers. I know exactly who to hurt to get at Detective Peterson. I know exactly who to hurt to get at uh, Officer Lolatai and Officer Steinman and Officer French. I know exactly who to locate. Matter of fact, <clears throat> with those officers, well, there's four people total that I would have to go locate to get a hold of every single one of those officers who harmed me. Because once I got one, I could go down the line. These people are all friends with each other. <sighs> I don't have the resources to do that, but I could acquire them. I choose not to. I choose to break the, the law only when I must. Right now, I'm breaking the law just by existing because I'm homeless. But am I actually homeless? No, not truly. I have this vehicle. No, it's not the same as living in an RV. No, it's not the same at all. It's not the same as living on somebody else's property that's a friend of mine. It's not the same at all. 
I know where Amanda and, El and Lana Ingeline live. It'd be easy to locate them and harm the fuck out of them. I could torture them for weeks, and I'd know how to bring them back if they died. But that's fucking cruel. The fact is, I want justice to be done. I want justice to be served. If I was to go kill Officer Lolatai, that would make him a martyr. That would justify all of the things that people have done to me just because I was willing to go out and kill one person. Just one. Now, the fact is, I hear people saying that Officer Steinman should be killed quite frequently. I hear people saying that all officers should be killed. Well, at this point, I agree. But the person to kill them is not going to be me. I know how to make explosives out of household materials. I know how to make rocket-propelled grenade launchers. I know how to make the grenades to go with them. Could I make an RPG-7? No, but I could make something pretty damn close. Could I make a bazooka? <laughs> Fuck yes! Any fucking 8th grader can fucking build one of them. Battery operated even. They are, truly. I could have gone out and sold drugs. I knew all the people to do it. I gave the names of all of the witnesses on Facebook. All of the people that needed to be talked to because the police refused to do so. I am literally hunting for all of these people. But not as a ninja. And not as a Chris Stegeman fanatic. I am hunting for their words. There's a lot of people who are on my shit list. If I see them... They better turn around and walk the other way, otherwise they're going to get a piece of my lip. They lip back at me, I'm going to give them enough of my lip that they start swinging. Use of fighting words, huh? The problem is getting at these motherfuckers. Child molesters like Tim Beeson and Ted Bollinger. Those are the real people I'm after. People like Derek Apodaca. Yeah, I'm after him too. I'm also after Rose M. Kelly. I'm after Alicia Bollinger. Justice for Natalie. That means going after her predators. However, torturing them isn't going to do the job. Killing them is not going to do the job. Going after innocent people is not going to do the job. These people deserve prison. I'm wholeheartedly willing to spend the rest of my life in prison to see to it that they make it there. I'm also willing to die trying. I'm fucking pissed off. I am livid. There are hundreds of people who could have done the right thing. A lot of people tried. Tried to make the police take a report. These people were threatened, harassed, and intimidated by the Bollingers and their cronies in these Natalie Bollinger groups. Kicked out if they defended me. I'm not allowed to speak out against these people, but they're allowed to talk trash on me. What a bunch of bitches. Ted Bollinger, I'm coming after you. You are the number one predator on my list. You're more important than Lola Ty. You're more important than any of the officers involved in this. Matter of fact, I'd be willing to let every officer who wronged me go in exchange for getting your bitch ass. What you did at my grandmother's funeral was unacceptable. 
I will get you. I will. What you did to Natalie was unfucking acceptable. And the fact that I, I have taken the punishment for things that you did since I left Virginia, well, that should explain why Maddie Boa is second on my list. I'm not sexist. That bitch runs her lip, I'll run my lip back. She lays a hand on me, I'll break it off. You don't think I know how? It's pretty simple. Break the wrist one way, break it the other, and then twist it until it's removed. Now the tough part is getting through all the tendons. What that's going to take is a few yanks. Maybe quite a few yanks. It would be extremely painful because I got a fucked up back. Now where did I get that idea from? That would be Christopher Stegeman. Although, the way that he described it, it wasn't a wrist, it was a neck. Why am I talking about torture? All right, that made me a little sick. I didn't puke, I'm fine. I'm not after physically harming these people. I'm after prison sentences for them. I don't think Maddie Boa is going to come after me. Tim Beeson is a bitch. Ted Bollinger is a bitch. Straight up. Hiding behind the police and their families. Meanwhile, these are the child molesters and rapists. Just because I know how to do these things doesn't mean that they're acceptable. I'm after an honest day in court. I may never get it, but I'll fight for it till the day I'm dead. That's what all of this was about. I have non-stop panic attacks. <laughs> now there are supposed to be services for people like me. So that we don't get victimized the way that I was victimized. However, the law victimizes the victims. Why is it that I did not yell at Shannon Alvarado while I was down there, but I sure as shit yelled at my dad while I was at his house? Well, that's because Shannon Alvarado didn't stand between me and the door and start screaming at me. If she had, I would have screamed back. I would have gotten arrested. I would have gone to jail. Derek Parrish is on my shit list, but he doesn't make the list of people that I'm after. Joanna Taylor doesn't make the list of people that I'm after. Lana Ingeline doesn't make the list of people I'm after. Amanda Ingeline does not make the list of people that I'm after. Shannon Alvarado is safe. I do believe there is a possibility that Miss Shelley is an innocent victim in all this. A victim of lunatics as go-betweens. Kara Miles is on my list. If I have my way and my say, Kara Miles will be in prison. However, like I said, Ted Bollinger is at the top of my list and his bitch ass is going down. 
I will hunt him down like a dog. But you know what? I'm referring to me as a dog in that sense. I will sniff him out. I will find out every wrong thing he ever did. I will expose that son of a bitch. I will make his life hell. You don't like the idea of me going after these people in court. A lot of people have uh, offered to kill the man for me. Why would I say no to that? Knowing what kind of a person that he is. Because the example needs to be set. If he ends up dead, it'll probably get blamed on me. I knew that Natalie was going to end up dead. She's just too high risk. Too much of a junkie. Too nice to people, like I was, before all of this happened. The Boulder police are going down too. But you know what? There's a lot of people on that already. The Boulder City Council, on the other hand, they need to be strung up in the street. I don't mean by their neck. I mean by their feet. Stark naked. During farmer's market. Middle of the summer. I'm not going to stop ostracizing these people. I'm not going to stop trying to find a safe place where I can calmly and collectively work on these things. The FBI, I'm after them too. And the Secret Service. Officer Amanda Jonas, that man who assaulted me at the Boulder Hospital, I might make a special exception for him. I don't mean a special exception as in torturing or killing. I mean, I might take a side trip to try to make sure that he goes to prison for the things that he did. I'm coming after all of you in court. No matter what, that is my goal. To get an honest court date. An honest chance to defend myself. What you people did is fucking sick. This shit happens nationwide. People don't want to see poverty. We make laws to make it illegal to be impoverished. Y'all are going to roast in hell. However, I make a big distinction between the things that happen to me and the things that happen to my loved ones. A lot of my loved ones did fucked up shit to me because they were threatened, harassed, or intimidated by police officers. Candace is safe. Officer Michael Beard is not. None of the officers in Chapel, Nebraska are safe. I'm coming after them in a court of law.